Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're going to make The Sun Also Rises. <sighs> Great cocktail. Mm-hmm. Charles Jolie's take on the slow gin fizz, really. Right. It's a right. fancy, kind of grown-up version of the slow gin fizz. Mm-hmm. Charles Jolie, of course, is probably one of the greatest cocktail guys in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Yep. At the drawing room. Well, he's been all around, yeah. but yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm choking on a cough drop. <laughs> I apologize to all of our two fans out there that I've forced today. <laughs> so, um, of course, the classic gin fizz is slow gin, mm-hmm. right? So, s- slow, S-L-O-E, is because it's a liqueur made with slow berries, right? right? Blackthorn berries. Mm-hmm. You see all, all over the place. Tree. All over the place in Europe. Yep. And the uh, slow berries, which are very tart, mm-hmm. bitter, are macerated and, um, with sugar in a gin, to make this delightfully sweet and kind of plummy, cherry tasting slow gin. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, a little bit of absinthe, some simple syrup, some Peychaud's bitters, lemon juice, and some champagne. We're using yeah. a cava here today because it's from Spain. And it makes for one incredibly delightful cocktail. Mm-hmm. All right, let's yeah. begin. Let's make it. We're going to put everything except the bubbly into our cocktail shaker, starting with three quarter ounces of the slow gin. Thank you. We're using the Heyman's brand here today, but there are plenty of varieties out there. There you go. You can see our video on the slow gin fizz, yeah. which was actually the very first cocktail I ever had in my entire life. <laughs> I was surprised. Which is kind of interesting. The I trivia was surprised, that yeah. No one is interested in except <laughs> me and you, maybe. <laughs> and then our take on this cocktail, The Last Sunrise, mm-hmm. which has one of the most hideous ingredients on the planet in it. And we're not talking skunk brain, but worse than that. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Um, a quarter ounce of simple syrup, and I'm going to get started on the lemon juice. Three quarter ounces. And this cocktail has a very upfront absinthe presence. Yeah, that's the first thing that hits you is the absinthe. Mm-hmm. And then you get that sort of like the, that cherry plummy from the slow gin. And then, of course, you got fizzy champagne in there, so it makes it fun and festive. Mm -hmm. A little bit of tartness from the lemon. Put that in there. Yep. And then three dashes of Peychaud's bitters. And we'll get that chilled up. Excellent. While Phil is shaking, I'm going to put two ounces of champagne into the bottom of our champagne flute. I think I said two ounces, Phil, but it's three ounces. Three ounces of champagne. Yes. All these numbers here today are confusing <laughs> to me. Once you get the hang of what three ounces looks like in your champagne glass, you don't need to measure it like mm-hmm. we are doing right now. But it kind of builds drama, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> then you're just going to aggressively pour that right over the champagne. And that'll mix itself. Mm-hmm. Get a little fizzy, which is what you want. And then we're going to just garnish this with a little lemon curly cue. Use our channel knife to get off the skin. And then we'll just twirl it around a spoon and crimp it a little bit so it keeps its shape. And then we'll just kind of drape that over the rim of our glass. And here you have the sun also rises. Enjoy. Cheers.